Hello, this is Marvaz here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as the Champa. So, let's continue where we left off. I think I'm actually going to cancel that worker. I will be able to buy one soon. One of my trades with Australia is about to expire in like two or three turns. So that will give me enough money to just buy a worker. And I need quite a few improvements around here. Right, let's go get the dice. And you will stay where you are. We got a caravan and it will go through the well, perfect. That will give me some extra golden age points. Off you go then. I think I'll just get the second caravan right away. I could use the money. My economy is not that strong when I'm not at war. So I need to work on that a bit. And I will get started on workshops as soon as I finish metal casting, obviously. So next, with an and there's train. the trade. I was talking about. So now we can get some money from Australia. Actually, this should be fine. No, 211 then. Done. And now I can just buy a worker. And we got a spy. Nice. Now, who do I actually want to spy on? That's a good question. England is the current tech leader. But I don't think I want to spy on England. I could send my spy to York. But there's a good chance England will have a spy in there. Still, it might be worth doing. We'll give it a shot. Grab that worker, get the dice. And that's that for now. The writer's guild in my capital will have to wait a bit. Because I want the workshop first. There's the worker. I think I'll just chop this forest. I need my border to expand north towards the wheat. And it will expand faster if I just remove the forest. So we'll do that. As for this guy... I could chop this forest to speed up a workshop in this city. That's not a bad idea. That's a hill anyway, so I'll want a mine on that tile. We'll do that. The well is done. Let's get some more improvements. So mostly the floodplain farms. Start chopping this. Two more turns for metal casting. I might have to buy the last workshop in my lowest production city, but we'll worry about that later. Get the farm. And next. So the plan right now is to get education and then physics, as well as steel for armories and my unique units. And we got golden age, that's perfect timing. Off you go to Ram. And let's change production. So, workshops in most cities. After the granary. And before the market. Perfect. Okay. So, next. This city will have to wait. I want the library done first. Then we can get started on a workshop. Barbarian camp? Oh, okay. And I actually have a city-state quest for that, but... That's on the other side of the continent. I won't be able to get there in time, obviously. If it was closer, then maybe. So the forest is gone. Let's get started on some farms right here. And we can finish chopping the forest right here. This one is also gone. Next. Now, Spain is still at war with Ram. I should be safe as long as they stay at war. But once they are done, I might have to bribe Spain to attack Greece. Or I could also wait for Spain to attack me. But they do have a pretty strong army. I'll probably need more units to defend myself if they end up declaring war on me. Because yeah, my army right now is not exactly impressive. I have three composite bombmen and that's pretty much it. Yeah. I might have to get some units faster. But I want that writer's guild too. Once I'm done with the writer's guild, I'll focus on military in my capital. Barbarian camp, okay. I might be able to ninja that from Ram. But he's probably going to kill that barbarian with his elephants. Get that road. Plus some population. Oh, Ram started a city. Oh well, I wasn't planning to start a city over there anyway. 
But I am thinking about starting a coastal city to the east. Yes, I would be interested. I could start a coastal city around here, on this exact tile. That would give me the fish to the north, it would give me the fish to the south, it would give me horses, sheep. It wouldn't be the most amazing city of all times, but it would be an okay coastal city. And I could use at least one coastal city. Yeah, he killed that barbarian, I expected that. Let's keep scouting then. Right, Spain is still fighting Ram. I want them to fight. They have some of the strongest armies right now. So I want them to weaken each other a little bit. I wonder if I can bribe Greece to attack Spain. Let's try. Declare war on Isabella. No, he's not going to do it. What about Morocco? Morocco is not that strong, but they are the tech leader with England. Last I checked, no. I can't do it. Okay, whatever. Just need to be careful. Oh, now she wants to declare war on Alexander. I might accept this. I don't really care about staying friendly with Alexander. Not really. I think I'll accept this. Okay, fine, let's accept that. And I could use some extra money, so why not? And she pissed out with Ram. That's why she asked me to declare war on Greece. That's fine, that will keep her busy. And it will give me more money. And that obnoxious sound again. So, workshop is almost done. I'll assign the specialist as soon as it's done. Just checking the cities. This should be a workshop. It will take a while, but oh well. I want iron works as soon as possible. Salt. Oh yeah, nice. That's 360 gold. Good timing. I could just buy a workshop in this city. I was thinking about that already. So this will be a good moment to do exactly that. 780 gold. Okay, let's grab the workshop. I'll finish the shrine, then get city walls. I still got missionary on auto purchase. And I'll probably need one. Well, I can only use him on one city currently. Which isn't amazing. Ram won't like me spreading my religion to him because he has his own religion. So that's not a great idea. But if I end up starting a new city, then I can use a missionary to spread my religion there. I could also just save up for a great prophet. That might be a better idea. Especially if I can get one before Renaissance era. That's going to cost me... how much exactly? Right, 450 faith. And this is where my game crashed. I do have auto saves every single turn, so I didn't really lose anything, but it's still really annoying playing like that. I think I know what's causing it, but I'll have to do a few tests. If it's what I think it is, it will be pretty tough to avoid it. But oh well, I'm going to continue anyway, unless it gets really really bad. But I hope it won't. In any case, the farm is done, and I was talking about the Great Prophet. If I can get a Great Prophet before entering Renaissance era, then I'll go for it. If not, then I'm not sure. We'll see. Oh, Isabella completed Notre Dame in Madrid, alright. Now I really want Madrid. <laughs> the value of this city suddenly went up a lot. Okay, that's going to be my first target without a dub. Also, the workshop is done. I already have a specialist assigned automatically, but I'll do it manually. Like this. And what about other assignments? Lock this. Yeah, these are fine. No, I need the Writer's Guild, and then we can get started on some military production. Maybe get a market first, because that will give me more money, and it will improve the trade routes slightly. And most of my trade routes are from my capital city currently. If not all of them... Yeah, that's actually all of them, I think. So, more farms? Yep, let's get more farms then. Maybe this one, because that's one hammer. So we'll get that one. And continue that road. Won't take long to finish it. Yep, get started. Next. 
Nine more turns for education. No, no open borders for you. Spain is only making four gold per turn. Twelve gold per turn now. Yeah, they are not doing so well. <laughs> hmm. I'm also considering buying these two tiles. That would upset the ram a little bit. But I don't really care about his opinion. It will make it easier to attack him in the future. So I might do it. I might also buy this hill. It's just a regular hill, but you never know, there might be coal or aluminum over there. And he will steal that tile if I don't buy it. 135 gold. Okay, I'll just buy it. And I could buy these two. They are going to be expensive, but I think it's worth doing. He will be upset about that. But whatever. Okay, let's just buy them both. That was a lot of gold. I'll pay for it with my unique ability. <laughs> yep, get that road. He will definitely be upset about this right now. But I don't I care. With an offer Open borders? No, not interested. Yep, he's upset. Whatever. It's technically my land. It's three tiles away from my capital and he's complaining about that. Seems legit. I'll actually keep that iron to get some units. Tyre declared war on me. Really? Well, I don't really care. Let's keep exploring. Not much left to explore. Chop the forest to speed up the workshop. I could buy that workshop, but I can chop at least two forest tiles, three forest tiles. So I'll just do that. Sounds good. Plus one population and we got the writer's guild. So remove this, lock this and move this guy somewhere more useful, which is nowhere. Well, I need to finish that farm faster. Okay, I can get the market in four turns. So market, then barracks, and then I'll get started on recruiting some units. I'll need a few swordsmen, which is why I didn't sell the iron. I don't have a single melee unit at the moment, which is not great. I'll probably want a horseman as well, which is why I saved that one horse. So swordsman and horseman. Sounds good. Okay, fine. Now this guy. Now I can buy the wheat. So that's what I'm going to do. Done. And we can improve it. Finally. Took long enough. The golden age ended. Another workshop is almost done. Yeah, I'll build barracks in this city. That's fine. And yeah, keep working the workshop slots. To build up some great engineer points. This city won't be growing very quickly. Well, actually, I should just mow these guys. There, that's better. But I need more farms near this city. This workshop is not done yet. Okay, looks good. So next, oh yeah, I'll need some universities once I get education. I might just buy a university in my capital to not delay my military production. Yeah, I really need more units faster. I don't want to delay this war too much. I'll probably go to war with Spain as soon as my declaration of friendship expires. So I still got like 30 turns. But 30 turns is not that much. I need to have an army in 30 turns. Bigger than this. This is my entire army right here. Three composite bombmen. Not impressive by any stretch of imagination. Yes, Spain is denouncing me. She will definitely declare war on me. Once she's done with Greece. This is why I've been keeping her busy. She's been very aggressive in this game. Also, if I want to continue exploring, I'll need open borders. Wow, look at all these mountains. Is this the only way to get to this part of the continent? Maybe through here as well. That's pretty crazy. Okay, let's get open borders from Ram. If he's going to sell it. One gold per ten. Okay, that works. Let's go through here then. In before it's blocked by mountains. Okay, well, let's finish that road. Done. So, workshop should also be done. We lock this. Let's have a look at tile assignments. Yeah, I need more improvements. But I should lock that wheat, that's for sure. There. That's better. Seven turns to get a barracks. I'll focus two cities 
on the military production, and that should be enough. I need physics for my unique unit. But I actually queued up steel before physics to get an armory. I could buy an armory while producing units. That's probably what I'm going to do. Get started on some farms. Someone stole optics, that's not very nice. But it's a cheap tech. So, what do I want to unlock? I could go for honor. It's not a terrible idea. But if I go for honor, I'll need at least one policy in honor, warrior code, to make it worth my time. Okay, let's go for honor. And that reveals a barbarian camp to the southeast. Might want to get rid of that once I get some melee units from my capital. Now, I don't want to enter Renaissance era before my next policy. Because first, I want warrior code. Which isn't really that important, but second, I want the Great Prophet for 450 faith. Okay, we chopped the forest. What's this? That's just a regular tile. I should get a farm over there. This city will need more food, clearly. And this is one of the few tiles with decent food potential. Okay, what is it working right now? Oh yeah, it's working a really crappy tile. I could steal the sheep from my other city. That's not a bad idea. It will be fine without that. And move this guy here instead. Yep, that works. Looks good. 22 gold per 10 from Greece. That's pretty amazing. And education is done. That means I'll want some research agreements. But Australia needs more money. I could also use more decorations on friendship. I only have one with Australia right now, which is not that great. Yeah, he declined. So that's not good. Yeah, other civilizations he likes more than us to me. Does he really like Spain more than me? Okay, whatever. Come on, Australia, get more money. Can I get friendly with Morocco? They dislike warmongers. Nope. He declined. All right then, fine. England? Yeah, that's not going to work. Hello again. They have early concerns about my warmongering. Why would they ever have concerns about that? I'm such a peaceful person, to be honest. I didn't take a single city in this game yet. I have no idea what they are talking about. <laughs> Ignore the words I've been declaring. Right, let's get rid of that camp before they start spawning nasty stuff like horsemen. And now I just need to wait for units. It looks like Australia will be my only friend for now. And they are not doing that great, unfortunately. I would like to get friendly with Morocco, but that might be tough. Maybe I can get friendly with Greece after all. I can peace out in two turns. Well, once Spain finishes the war with Greece, I expect them to attack me. As in, I expect Spain to attack me. Oh, we made the last city-state. Nice one. Where's that scout? Here. Can we go through here? I think so. Looks like we can. Another caravan. So you will go west to this city. Looks good. We got under a farm. Let's just get a mine on that tile. I could use the production. I'm not sending any traders to Spain anymore. Because I expect a war. I'll send them west. So to this city because this one will go south. And I don't want that. I want it to go west. To keep them safe. Okay, so barracks are almost done. I'm not going to lock the market. Especially slot. Not really. There's no need. Denmark is plotting against me, apparently. Okay. Whatever. He's on the other side of the world. Denmark is very isolated in this game. He's behind all these crazy mountains. Oh, and we stole a technology. Compass. That's fine. I'm okay with this. That's another trade route. And barracks are done. Now, I should get a university. Before I start recruiting units. 
I could buy one university. Which means it would be better to buy it in this city. Because this city has much lower production than my capital. I can just build one in a few turns in my capital. Alright, let's do it like that then. Can we go through here? Yep. So there are two mountain passes that lead to Denmark. This one and this one. And these are pretty crazy. And this one is guarded by a city-state. Yeah, Denmark might be a problem in the future. <laughs> or they will be pretty annoying to invade. I might have to invade them through the sea. But fortunately, I don't have to worry about that just yet. Right, let's get started on some units. Swordsman and University in 8 turns. That's fine. Get that mine. The road is done. Let's get more improvements then. And we'll get some extra money here. Thanks for the gold. Is that enough for the university? No. I need 890 gold. Yep. So how is our spy doing? 21 turns to steal a tech from England. Yeah, that's not too bad. 21 turns on epic game pace is pretty good. Make peace with Greece. Okay, fine. As much as I like the money, I might be able to get friendly with Alexander, despite all these wars. And I expect a war with Spain, so I don't want to be at war with two civilizations at the same time. I just delayed that university slightly, but that's fine. Can I trade anything with him? No. Okay, I don't really have anything I could trade right now. I'm still thinking about this city. But I'm not sure if I can handle happiness-wise. That might be slightly problematic. I can't really buy any luxuries. Which is definitely a problem. I didn't build Circus Maximus yet, so there's some happiness potential there. I need that Notre Dame from Madrid. If Spain doesn't declare war on me, I will do it. I just need to prepare. Okay, this is enough money for that university. There we go. Now, what about Tyler Sarmens here? What's the population here? Six population. Not sure if I can afford working these two. Hmm. Is that farm done? Yes, it actually is. That's going to help a lot. Because that's six food from that one tile. Two more citizens. This tile and this tile. Okay, the city will grow. Now I need a farm on the floodplain to the southeast. Yeah, this is acceptable. Also, university before the amphitheater. I do have one slot. Yep. That's the amphitheater I got for free from legalism. Next. 14 turns to get a great profit. Yeah, I should get a great profit before I enter Renaissance era. If I have to, I'll delay a technology or two, just to get that great profit. Iron. I will be keeping the iron for swordsmen. Yeah, I need some melee units. Preferably at least three or four. So what about this guy? Well, we need more farms or maybe mines. I think I prefer mines, actually, for when I will want to switch my capital to full production. And I will switch it to full production. Yep. So we are slowly getting to the exciting part of this game. <laughs> Just a little bit longer. Oh, and yeah, I still need one more caravan. Might have to get one somewhere. And I can propose Ward's Fair. Just to get a boost with some of the AIs. And hey, I want the extra policy too. There. I'll probably use that policy for rationalism opener or for secularism if I get rationalism opener faster. Anyway, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.